YouTubers and fams, it's Drew. Welcome back to my variety channel, California Pickin', where I show you all kinds of variety of content so no one gets bored. Hey guys, we're out at Holy Cross Cemetery today, and we're gonna actually pay our final respects to some big celebrities out here. But there's one over here that I'd like to show you, and there's a special connection to my family. I'm gonna show you the final resting place of the beautiful Rita Hayworth. And up until recently, I didn't tell you who my mom was, but my mom is actress Janet Blair. And I'll insert a picture, or a few pictures of her right here. Now that's my mom, Janet Blair, and she performed alongside Rita Hayworth in a movie called Tonight and Every Night, and it was 1946. And the same year that Rita, her other movie, Gilda, came out. And so Gilda kind of eclipsed the other movie with my mother, but they performed right alongside each other, my mom with the great Rita Hayworth. So I thought I'd show you her final resting place and then show you a little clip from the movie that my mom was in with Rita Hayworth. the lovely Rita Hayworth. And both my mother, Janet Blair, and Rita Hayworth were under contract at Columbia Pictures. And uh, they did this movie together. And I'll insert a clip right here. It's getting chronic. 
I take medicine and pills of every kind. But they'll never substitute a tonic for the boy I left behind. The other day, I got the sweetest letter. All my love and kisses, that's the way he signed. So each night I wear his favorite sweater for the boy I left behind. He goes down to the blood bank each day, shouting B for victory. He takes more blood than he gives away, so maybe that's why they took me. I'm supposed to be content and just keep dreaming. If they think that I'm content, they must be blind. Cause I go to sleep and wake up screaming. Now, the movie was about the Second World War and uh, the bombing in England at the time and how my mother, Janet Blair, and Rita Hayworth played these two uh, chorus girls or performers who used to perform every night on stage and uh, keep up the morale of the people in, in uh, England. And they would come out and perform every night, but there would be like... Many times there would be uh, air raid drills where the uh, alarms would go off and they would have to go underground into a bunker. But they carried on and kept the uh, art of entertainment and theater alive. And uh, my mom performed the final performance of the movie singing the, the song Tonight and Every Night. My mom was known as the Triple Threat she could sing, dance, and act. Uh, Rita Hayworth was the, one of the best dancers in the world and could act and looked great, but Rita could not sing. And so consequently, Rita Hayworth's voice was dubbed into the movie as well as other movies. And my mom often wanted to have relationships with people that she performed with afterwards. And some, uh, some of her good friends from Hollywood did stay in touch with her. And the three top women in my mom's life was, uh, it was Rosalind Russell who gave her, my mom, her first big break. by insisting that she gets co-billing on the marquee alongside her name. And Esther Williams, the famous swimmer, my mom spent a lot of time hanging out with Esther Williams. And then the, her third best friend in Hollywood was Ginger Rogers. 
And she stayed in touch with these people her whole life. Pretty incredible. And I'll be showing you some photographs and some personal letters from Rosalind Russell. And she's buried here too. Stay tuned for that. Me, so what if it's not right? What if it's not right? 